This is the giant burrowing cockroach, Macropanestia rhinoceros. That translates to small rhinoceros. The rhinoceros cockroach also has a few other names, including the litterbug, because they eat gum leaf litter and also wattle. These cockroaches are the largest cockroaches in the world, having a maximum size of 9 centimetres. These monstrous cockroaches can be found in North Queensland, along the coast. They like a humid, sandy substrate where they make their burrows. The female cockroach can stay in her burrow and release babies. The babies are not laid through an egg, but are rather released as tiny little nymphs. The female cockroach, like this one, will take care of the babies for up to a year before they are allowed to leave the burrow. The female cockroach will every night will leave the burrow and get, a le get some leaves and cut them up for the baby. These cockroaches are the only cockroach that actually cares for their young and sits over them. The giant burrowing cockroach has large amounts of sexual dimorphism. Female cockroaches, like this one, have a rounded shovel-like head which they use for digging out and digging their one metre deep burrows. They also have powerful spiky legs which they use for kicking the substrate out behind them. The males have a more triangular shaped protruding shovel like head which they use for fighting other males over breeding rights, territory and food. This cockroach can weigh up to 30 grams. No wonder it will be a great meal for a predator animal. But, most predators are scared off by their immense size. Like, these cockroaches shouldn't really be worrying about tiny shrews weighing 10 grams, should they? These cockroaches can be successfully bred in captivity, meaning that none are really commonly taken out of the wild. The, and this means it's a very sustainable animal. So, we don't take these amazing biodegraders out of their natural environment. In the wild, their favourite foods are things like eucalyptus, melaleuca and wattle leaves that have dried up. They do not favour leaves which are green or are still damp from when they were on the tree. They like the old brown leaves which are really cr which is crushed up. These cockroaches, it's a mystery how they got so big. There's no real reason to it, really. And if you're just living off leaves, surely that doesn't have much nutritional benefit. So, people are still puzzled over why they are so huge. A totally amazing creature.